<laughs> Cal, I see you. <laughs> Are you there, Kelly Fisher? I just saw you. Oh, wait, let me unmute you. All right. Hey, I'm here. Hi. Okay. So we're not live to Facebook yet. I've quickly remembered how to do that. We've got two attendees that I can invite in or we can go live first and then invite them in. This part's recording and I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to not do that, but it's too late now. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know the right order. We could go ahead and invite them in and then go live after that. Okay. Let me see if I can get my video going here. Oh, there yeah. you go. Hey. Hey. All right. Oh, there's four. Okay. Great. Um, so I think I promote them to panelists. Let me see. Can, is there an attendee option there? So yours. Okay. So you're the co-host. Um, so I think it's just co-host and panelist. That seems the, okay. The, um, the order. Um, I'm not sure if everyone else can hear us yet, but <laughs> I'll just start bringing them in. Okay. I see Megan. Megan's in. Hi, Megan. Right. Hi, guys. We're just starting to bring everyone in, whoever can hear us. We're not live just yet, so we'll accomplish that in just a minute here. <laughs> Technical failures here. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, hey, Emery. Hey, yeah. Should we go live and then um, and then do it? Hey, Faye. <laughs> um, Hi, everyone. Yeah, girl. I mean, okay. good luck with the live link there. Okay. Um, I'll, there's some other things I'm making notes about to talk about later, too. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do it. We're going to go live on Facebook. Fingers crossed, everyone. <laughs> Let's see if it does it. Um... Okay, here we go. It says it's connecting, we'll see. This okay. was where we had the problem before. Um, it looks like it's going through. Okay, and, our and positive okay. thinking here, it's gonna work. Um, I'm just, I'm on your page, Joy, so I'm just gonna watch and monitor that it pops up before we get started. It should, it did look like it did for a second. And then, so if you're with us and you can hear us, we're figuring out the Facebook Live piece to go live. Yep, it looks like it says we are, so. Okay. Um, so that's good. Uh, we've got a few of us on, let's see, let me get back to my Zoom now. Where'd it go? There we are. <laughs> we're trying so hard to learn all the techie stuff. All right, um, so I'm gonna continue to bring the rest of the people in as they join the group and promote them to panelists. Okay. Um, do you wanna kinda give a quick you, little? Uh, Joy, are you live on your um, Joy Giovanni page or on your Zen Temple Wellness? It'd be the Joy Giovanni page, it should be. Okay. Um, and there's a little thing on, I don't know if you can see it on your. Yeah, I can see it. It looks like it's working. Okay. Oh, all right. Yay. <laughs> well, it's been a few months, as you guys know, since we've been on. So we were just um, seeing how well we could remember the tech side of things. <laughs> so, so far, so good. Yeah, most mediums are not, um, even if they're tech savvy, there are tech issues because something about our energy can interfere with the technology. So luckily it looks like the, uh, the angels, the tech angels were working with us today. <laughs> Always a bonus. So for those of you who aren't quite sure what we're doing or if you're watching live or the recording afterwards, um, I'm Joy Giovanni and I'm working with Kelly Fisher and we are here to do about an hour long uh, live group reading. So that's mediumship where we'll connect with loved ones on the other side and give personal messages and evidential detail. All right, so should we um, get started as more people pop in here, Joy? Yeah, if we wanna get started and then anyone else who comes on, I can just do the techie part. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, in the past we have just gone to somebody and um, either ask for name or relationship, which is not typically the way that we work, but 
because we have a limited amount of time and we want to get to the most uh, people that we can and loved ones that we can, we may ask you for the person that you're hoping to hear from the name and relationship and we can definitely set that intention. It doesn't always mean that that's who is going to come through for you. So sometimes you just have to keep an open mind to somebody else popping in and um, Otherwise, we might just go directly to you and um, see who's around you and start reading that way. Joy and I double link sometimes, so it's possible that we will both bring through your loved one with different messages. And um, that's always really fun because we get to see two different sides of their personality because Joy and I are two different mediums with different personalities as well. And um, so they're going to use our personal references, of which ours are very different, Joy and I. And, um, and then we may just each read individually. So we'll just see how it goes. And we're looking forward to this. So is there somebody who wants to raise your hand first so that if you want to be the first recipient, Joy can unmute you? Anybody, anybody? All right. souls. We're also happy just to answer questions about mediumship. If you guys would, you know, if no one's really feeling comfortable to receive a reading, that's okay too. Courtney's hand, I see Courtney. <laughs> All right. Courtney. Okay. Okay. So I think you just have to unmute her then, right? Or I can. There we go. Can you yeah. hear us, Courtney? Or can we hear you? I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. We can. I'm very sick. I barely have a voice. So excuse oh, my no. hoarseness. <laughs> oh, but that means I'm home so today and I get to watch. So. Well, thanks for joining. It's always good to see you in person or virtually, however, mm -hmm. <laughs> however it is. And we help you feel better. Yeah. You too. Okay, um, Courtney comes to our, I hope it's okay if I say this, can I say this? Um, yeah. Been a couple of times to our development circle and we've missed you the last couple of times. I know you've had some big life things going on. So I hope we get to see you on November 20th is our next one. It's at yes. 730 at the Metaspace in Normal Heights for anybody else who might be interested in coming. But yeah, we definitely miss you, Courtney. So, um, but I, we, we don't have to explain to you how to be a recipient, but just in case anybody else is newer at mediumship and receiving messages, um, best for us, if you just say yes, no, or I don't know, um, it needs to be a natural exchange of energy. And uh, we don't want you to feel pigeonholed into those three responses. But if you could just give us a, um, just don't tell us everything, I guess is what the best way to put it. Joy and I don't, uh, we don't want to know the whole story because we want your loved ones to tell you that. So, okay, wonderful. Let me just see, Courtney. And if you have a communicator before me, Joy, you can pop in here and, and go first. So. All right, let's just let's tune in and see who we see. Who we see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just dive in here. And then if you've got somebody else, Joy, it'd be fun if you brought that person through or you can link into this one. Um, Perfect. Well, I think we're going to start with a, with a grandmother here, actually, Courtney. So um, just with a quick yes or no, you would recognize at least one of your grandmothers to be in spirit, yes? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, all right, that's okay. Well, sometimes when it's not grandma, it can be somebody who feels like grandma. So I'm just going right. to keep working with her. Um, here and I feel like oh okay all right um, I'm just I'm just understanding the relationship better now and I actually feel like this is a woman who would be of grandmother age but she's not your biological grandmother but I actually think that this was a patient of yours would you understand um, yes just that okay um, because this woman is she's so lovely she's so nurturing the way that she comes through and um, I feel like she, she needs to talk about, um, of course we covered that she was a patient of yours, so I know that she gets ill and this is the way that she dies, but, um, but I feel as if you would recognize this woman to have had, um, and I know you've had a lot of patients, so I'm gonna have to work hard to see if we can sort out who exactly it is, but I know that um, she would have had a long illness um, prior to going on into hospice care, so you'd understand that to at least fit one of your patients, correct? Yes. Okay. And um, I know with her also that w even though she was in her advanced years, that there was a period of time that she wore her hair long. 
Um, you know, we think of grandmothers with the short hair, you know, but she has longer hair. Um, and when she came to you, I'm not sure what state her hair was in, but I feel that she would have had this long, beautiful gray hair. So um, if you just go back in, in your Rolodex of patients that you've had, does this make sense for somebody that you would have in mind? Yes, absolutely. Okay, um, because the feeling with her is not that she was just one of your patients, and I know that none of them are just numbers to you because you are such a, you're a medium yourself, so you have this big heart for others, um, but I just feel as if you had a close connection with her in the short time that you spent together, and it actually feels as if maybe it wasn't um, that short of a period of time, actually may have been at least a month or a couple of months that you got to know this woman. So the person that you, you're thinking of, um, would this make sense for you? Yes, it was close to a year, actually. Close to a year. Okay. Well, that's good because what she was telling me is she was saying that, you know, usually hospice care is, is short because there's like, um, well, what is it? Is it six weeks or less that people six are- Six months. Six months six or months, less. But, okay. but it goes in all various times. Okay. Yeah, she was just telling me that they expected her to go more quickly, but she actually hung on to life longer than, than you yes. or her family expected. Um, okay. I know that she brings me to the beach. So I know that the beach is really important to her. This, um, that she would have loved the water and she would have loved the beach. So this would be out here in San Diego, correct? It was, but actually it was not a beach. We would go every single day walking next to a lake. Oh, did it have a shore, though, that would look kind of um, sandy, sort of like a beach? It did, it did have sand, yes. Okay, all right. Oh, wonderful. Okay, that's fine, because I know that she loves to be by the water, and I know that this the shore makes me think it's like a beach. Um, and this gives her strength, and I know that she would talk about the nature. Like, you guys would point out different things, and you were certainly not on a rush when you would. So are you pushing her in a wheelchair when you're going on yes. these walks? Okay, because yes. I know that she's saying, oh, look at that lovely bird, and you're pointing out something else, and she just took a lot of um, joy in this experience with you. I, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, now, I feel that you were, she wants to talk about you helping her to transition. So, have you, did you have a lot of talks with her about um, going to the other side about life after life and those kinds of topics. Yes. Yes. Her family was already passed. And so she was very afraid that she thought she was going to die alone. And so we had a lot of talks because she was, <clears throat> I was trying to tell her she's not going to go alone. You know, they're still going to be there with her, but, and I was there with her too. That's what she was letting me know is that you were there with her at the end. So you actually were holding her hand or right by her bedside as she passed, correct? It it was it was very very close i ended up having to leave for somebody else but i feel like she was already gone yeah yeah that's the way she makes me feel is that as you hold her hand she slips away from life but she transitions yes. to the other side and the biggest thing that she wants to bring is first of all a, a massive massive thank you for all of the love and help and guidance that you gave her in that time the strength that you gave her to pass on um but she's saying there must be um there must have been a husband that passed before her do you understand this i uh, yes, she was married, but I didn't, I not, I never knew him. But he did go first, correct? He passed. He did, yeah. Because she yeah. says, I want you to know I'm with my family, that I'm with my husband. Oh. And I found everybody you said I would find. She's like, you're right. You were right. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. so she's very happy and she's healthy and she's taking these long walks on her own two feet. Nobody's yeah. in a wheelchair. So, um, Good. you are such a healer, Courtney. And I know that there's, you're, you're, discovering your gifts rapidly and um, just want to encourage you in that because you've done so much healing over your life so far, but there's so much more to come, um, whether it's in terms of helping people cross over or in mediumship or as a healer um, or all, all of those combined, but just um, so excited to kind of watch the rest of your journey and, uh, you. and see you kind of come into your gifts so strongly. So yeah, thank you for sharing her with me. What was her name? Her last name was White and I'm having a really hard time because I always called her Mrs. White and I, oh. I'm, I don't remember what her first name was. Okay, well that that's okay. I, it's so you know I saw her hair as this like gray, yeah. beautiful gray white. So it was, and I get me there. <laughs> she never allowed. It wasn't until you said the hair thing that I thought of who you were talking about because 
we she never allowed the nurses at the nursing facility to do her hair um she only let me do it and i just would come every single thursday and wash her hair and her hair was so long yeah and i would french braid it and put it up for her oh that's so amazing yeah she was so proud of her long hair just she so did beautiful long hair it, it was long you're right <laughs> yeah. well thank you very much thank you all right oh that was lovely thanks um, okay, the next panelist that we have with a hand raised is 18162. So hi, 18162. Are you still with us? And are you still willing to receive a reading? I've got you unmuted. There's, there's no name attached to you, but just 18162. Let me see if there's anything in the chat. I don't see anything. Um, all right, I see someone else with a hand raised, so we can just come back to you if you rejoin. Let's see, it is Faith. Hi, Faith. Let me unmute you. How are you today? Thanks for Hi. joining. Good. How are you guys? Doing well. Cool. I was excited. I, I just felt called to pop on. I usually I'm not able to make these. Oh, that's great. I love it when things work out. Yeah, it's good to have you on. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you want to give us a um, name and relationship of someone you're hoping to hear from today? And then we'll see who comes I'm, Yeah, so I'm open. I, the okay. last few days, I've been feeling the presence of someone that I don't know personally. And so I'm kind of like, it's more of someone, it's a past love one of someone I met recently. And I'm like, is this real? Am I making this up? Like, what is the deal? <laughs> so I'm open. Okay. Um, I would say if it's someone that you're, I, I don't know you personally, so I'm yeah. assuming that you're mediumistic if you're sensing the loved one of yeah. someone else around you. Yeah. So that's wonderful. Um, it would be tough to bring them through for you if you don't know a lot of information about them. Is this someone that you know fairly well? I know you said it's a loved one of someone else. Yeah. I know. I know enough. I think I know enough about him. Um, I'm all okay. open if, if it's, if there's anyone and else not be well, do you have yeah. do you know his um first name yeah john john okay that's so funny i was just thinking of a john that i know <laughs> um okay so let me just see you can you can connect on this one too Kel, if you want let's see all right and is this a is this a dad of someone that you know the grandfather grandfather okay um and is the, the friend that you, the person's associated to, John's associated to a male as well? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, so just, just tuning in a little bit. Um, okay. But has, has, has grandpa not been passed for a really long time? Like it's been like less than five years? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and he was really close to his grandpa, your friend. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Because um, it feels like he got a lot of time with him when he was in his younger years i want to say like um pre-adolescent does that make sense i'm not sure about that okay. just, um because mm -hmm. he's bringing me back to memories of just um connecting through kind of like walks and talks um so would he have shared some of those type of memories with you if so i can go into them no i don't think no um, okay so let me let me see if i can go a different direction let me ask grandpa john here um okay but you would understand him living well into his senior years does that make sense yes yep and then you would also understand it to be a physical breakdown within his body that takes his life ultimately yeah yep okay um it, but does he have a i want to say it's like a slower more gradual decline with his overall health does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah okay um yep. and then there I, I do think it's one main illness but it feels like various systems start breaking down does that make sense I'm not, not I'm sure. not really sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know, was he hospitalized at the end of his life? Yes. Okay. Cause it does feel like he gets to stay home for a good bit, but then he does need more full-time care towards the end. So you would understand that to be true. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. What's interesting is he does just feel like this really gentle and loving guy. Would you have heard that about him? Yeah, and that well, that's like that's what I'm feeling. Like I'm like yeah. I like having him around. He's so nice and gentle and sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels. And as he steps closer to me, I just really feel it, it feels very grandfatherly, but but just a 
just a really gentle and kind energy. And I feel like the reason that he's around you is one, because you can recognize him, which uh-huh. it's, I almost imagine it like we've got this little beacon on us and souls on the other side can recognize mediums that way and say like, oh, Faith can hear me and see, see me or recognize me. Let me stand close to her. Um, but I also think that it's important for his grandson to know that he is safe, that he's at peace, that his physical ailments aren't a problem for him anymore. Does that make sense? Has that been on his mind? Yeah. Okay. So um, I I do feel like he just wants to let him know that he's very strong and able-bodied because I feel like in his younger years, he would have known for, been known for having been very able-bodied and um, hearty and healthy is kind of the way he's giving it to me. Does that make sense? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I know that he's wanting his grandson to know that he's back to being physically able and feeling good within his body because I do know towards the end of his life there's a weakness that sets in would you understand that Mm -hmm. yeah and and it feels like it's just something that with his personality is just not comfortable for him he doesn't feel like the type of guy who likes to be doted on for hours on end does that make sense yes Uh, so it feels like for him to be able to you know stand up out of that bed and his full strength is really important to him to to let other people know about that. Does that feel like his personality? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. The other thing is, okay. So with your friend, his grandson, is he having um, some changes going on with his work, like either a promotion or shifting into a different position? He started his own company. That's that's what it is. So there's also a big um, encouragement and happiness from grandpa John on that. Uh, That's why he's bringing it to my attention. Um, And I think he's just so proud of him for stepping out on his own because he makes me aware that um, his grandson has had this ability and would have been able to do this quite sooner if he had the confidence. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But but it feels like, you know, he's very proud of him that that his grandson's finally gotten up this confidence and is is standing on his own two feet and stepping out in a new way because it's sort of this feeling of I always knew and believed he could do it and I'm glad that he finally sees that he can do it does that make sense yes 100 percent. yeah that's great well I do feel like he's going to be spending some time around you and since you are mediumistic you can just sit with him and try to tune into him yourself if that's something you're open to so he does just feel like a really gentle um gentle and kind presence. The other quick thing he draws my attention to is, um, you may not know this, but you may have to validate this with your friend. Um, something about his hands. I feel like they, they were much stronger. They got a little bit weaker, but then also he makes me aware of, it looks like liver spots or some sort of spots mm. on the back of his hand. Would you know about this? Mm. I'll have to ask or even look at the picture. Yeah. yeah. Check in on that one just because he's, he's letting me know that he's he's just back to feeling really good and, and strong and healthy. Like he's just throwing that in there for some extra validation. Got it. Well, thank you so much for sharing him with us. Yeah. Thank you. That's all. Yeah. Thank and you. Congratulations on your friend's new business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it so yeah, much. Thank you. Thanks for sharing him with us. We've got a few, a few more hands now. So let's see. We have uh, Frank's hand is raised. He okay. doesn't have a camera uh, running right now, but I told him it's fine. Yeah, so, that's fine. Yeah, so we could um, go to Frank, and then I know Kathy. Um, Kathy has a hand up as well. I'm gonna unraise the other hands. Hey, Frank, can you hear us? And can we hear you? Calling Frank Reynolds. We may have lost him temporarily. Well, we can, uh, let's see. Yep, he's unmuted. Okay, let me see if I can unmute him again. Frank, you there? Okay, well, why don't we um, hop, yeah, let's hop over to Kathy? Kathy and... Yeah. Okay, Kathy, are you there and can we hear you? Yes, I am. Hi, Joy. Hi, Kelly. Oh, hi, hi. how Thanks are you? Great, thank you. Oh, it's good to hear your voice. Good to hear you guys too. Good to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's good to, I, mean, I can't see you, but it's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's always good to see you though. Um, okay, so we're doing name and relationship. Is there a name and relationship of, of somebody that you'd like to hear from? Yes, um, Raymond Peeler. Okay, and what's the relationship to Raymond? 
Um, my father. That's your father. Okay. All right. Joy, I know you just read, but if you link in first, you're welcome to go for it. All right. Sounds good. No, I do feel like I have a dad. So let me just check a couple things and see if I'm with Kathy's dad. <laughs> um, so Kathy, with your dad, would you understand him to have been a very matter of fact man? Yes. Okay. Yes. I feel like he wants to look at the facts and what are, what are the facts telling us about this decision we need to make? Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. And are you kind of pondering back and forth between a decision yourself? Um, yes, I am. Okay, because he keeps just, he's, he's bringing me to that. He <laughs> she just needs to look at the data and see <laughs> what makes the most sense. And um, I know that he's, he's very, uh, he's a very sharp thinker, your dad. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think he doesn't miss a beat. Um, and, and I know he's very analytical, but I think he's also very good at reading the situation, if you will, and, and seeing the things that aren't necessarily laid out on the table as facts. Does that make sense about him as well? You know, that I don't know. Okay. So he does just feel like he's a pretty good judge of character. Like if he had to choose a business partner, I think he's, mm -hmm. he might not know that, but it does feel like he knows that type of stuff. Um, and would you understand your dad to have worked in one profession for a very long time? Yes. Okay. Cause he just, and did some of his work involve working with his hands? Um, it doesn't feel like in a mechanic sort of way, but it does feel like he's doing. He, yeah, he, well, he did accounting. And okay. so it would have been back in the day before they had all the technology. So okay. that could make sense. <laughs> and I think what I, what I'm getting is this little, um, it's almost like a little ticker tape thing that all this paper comes out <laughs> The back yeah, that, that, like that could definitely be the case. Coming down the side of his desk is what it feels like. Um, okay, you can come in on this on this dad too, Cal, if you want. The other little bit is, do you remember him wearing glasses? Yes. Because I feel like he's, I don't know that they were bivocals, but he feels like he's peering over the end of them. Back yeah, they were very the thick. Okay. <laughs> very thick glasses. <laughs> um, but it feels like you wouldn't, you wouldn't quite recognize him without them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Fun. Okay, so let's see, where else does he want to take us? Um, what's interesting is, did he, with his works, I know he does the same thing over a period of time, but did he at one time work for someone else and then he is more on his own with his own book of clients? Mm, well, he was in the military prior. He was in the Navy okay. and then he transitioned into a civilian position. Okay, um, but with the civilian position, is he always working f for someone else with their clients, yes. or did he have his own clients at some point? Oh, you know, that I, I, I really don't know. I okay, mean, I think, okay. yeah. You can't know everything. It's, okay. it's probably <laughs> a little at the time, too. Um, but has your dad been passed for some time now? He has. Okay, because it does feel like he's, he's settled in on the mm -hmm. other side. <laughs> okay, let's see. You want to jump in, Cal? Are you in with this? Yeah, if, if, um, let me see if I have him, Kathy, because um, if not, then I'm going to throw it back to you, Joy, because I've got yeah. somebody. But um, when you were talking about the accounting, what I was brought to, and it's, you may have to really dive back in your memory here, Kathy, but it feels as if he was showing me this um, well-worn briefcase that it looks to me to be made of leather, but um, I feel like you would remember him carrying this briefcase to and from work. Um, and that setting it down, it feels like he sets it down by the door when he comes in. But um, do you understand this when you're small? Do you remember the briefcase that he carried? Oh, gosh, Kelly. It, I, I don't remember a lot about my childhood, so I don't remember that. It's very possible. I just don't remember. Um, I have some questions about this because I felt like, they, I felt like he was showing me that he was coming and going and coming and going and you were small. And then as you're still growing, mm -hmm. home, he's not coming home. So I'm, um, I was trying to understand, did your dad move out of the house when you were still in school and you're still growing up at home? Well, no. Um, 
he he was still in the military at the time though so he oh, might have been gone for periods of period time. time okay yes. so so he would have gone away for like a, a practice debt or like um for mm -hmm. employment for several months at a time okay but for the most part like as i got older he was home all the time that's yeah. what i remember okay and he was able as with his accounting um work he was able to you know what i see is that he actually has a home a desk at a home office as well. So he would go to work, but then he would bring some of his work home and still still be doing work at home. Do you understand that? I I don't remember seeing him do doing that. Okay. But again, I mean, it's it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I, if I was small, I just don't remember. Well, let me check one other thing. Um, when he used to go away for his uh, military work and his travels, because one of the things um, that I was aware of is that he would travel to far places. That was before mm -hmm. he said that he was in the military. Um, right. I felt like he would make a point to pick up something for you when he went into Yes, yes. He, he would always bring home little trinkets. <laughs> yeah, and so one of these, and, and again, this may not ring true right now if you can't remember, but I just want you to, to hold on to it. Um, there, there seem to be these dolls. They feel that they're made of cloth. Yes. You know what yes. I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. And they're, you know, they're different colored skin and stuff mm -hmm. like they're from all over the world. Right. And, you know, I know that you had more than one of these and that you would play with them um, when he would bring them home for you. I feel like you actually kept these dolls for quite some time. I don't know, I did. I don't know where they are now, but they can right. hold on to them then. Okay. Well, um, I'll toss it back over to you, Joy, if you, you want to. Going yeah, through. that was really cool to see. Um, so the other thing your dad is doing is bringing me more into the home and into the living room. As your dad mm -hmm. is in his, I want to say middle age, so I feel like this is more the time when he's home after military service. Mm -hmm. Would you remember him liking to use TV trays sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> yes. In the kitchen. Um, but I know with him too that he likes a really American home cooked meal. Like he very much meatloaf Meat, and mashed potatoes. Meat and <laughs> potatoes. That is totally yeah. him. Yes. <laughs> Just like those mashed potatoes look really good at lunchtime. Um, <laughs> so I feel like these would have been the type of staple meals that he wanted. He doesn't want something fancy and extravagant. Right. Very That's American him. Absolutely. Home cooking. Um, and it, it's your mom that's making these meals for him it feels yes yes okay and is mom still here in the physical she is okay because I know that he sends love to mom and appreciation and it does feel like he wasn't maybe always the most verbally expressive with his appreciation yes her. does that make sense right Absolutely. I know that he wants to send a lot of love from his heart now um, oh good and just kind of acknowledging that I I do recognize the things that you did for me and I, I do yes. appreciate all of the Cause it's like, he shows me mom's in there. I know he's not in there with her, but she's in there making all the things from scratch. Mm -hmm. no, right. Not from a box. She is. Cause I feel like <laughs> dad wouldn't have had that. Yeah. His, his, his palate is not the most refined, but he's not <laughs> the difference between real mashed potatoes and from a box. Right. So, right. What he's saying. Um, and he's saying he dealt with those military ration horrible add water mm -hmm. for yes. so many years that he was just so happy and grateful to have home cooked meals at home. Um, the other thing was, was your dad a coffee drinker? Yes. Cause it feels like he's got coffee at, at can I say it like odd times? Like not just. Yes, absolutely. Yes. He loved like, coffee. Yeah. He's drinking coffee even in the afternoon and there's, mm -hmm. there, or just, it's like a pot's on at all times because dad might need a refill. Does it make yes. sense? Yes. Yeah. He yeah. loved his coffee. Yeah, he just, and does he take it black, do you know? Yes, he did. Okay. <laughs> He's showing me just, and that is just right back to his very linear, you know, what makes the most sense kind of a right. guy. Right. Um, so he's bringing me back to whatever it is it, that you're considering. You know, he shows me that you're weighing kind of a couple mm -hmm. different choices. And he just, he just says that the guidance that he wants to give you now is the same that he wouldn't, would have given you then, which is to just consider all of the pros and cons on both sides. Mm -hmm. And he's saying uh, that you're a very well grounded and intelligent lady calls you young lady, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that you'll, you know, if you do that, that you'll clearly see which decision is the best fit for you at this time. So that makes Wonderful. sense. Wonderful. Can I ask one question, Joy? Yeah, yeah. 
my dad was um, a big smoker and I have been smelling cigarette smoke, um, you know, off and on periodically for probably like the last year and a half. And I always wonder if that's him. I would but, say absolutely, 100%, okay. without okay. a doubt, yeah. <laughs> and you can even just say a little, hi, Dad. I mean, because I think mm -hmm. that's him trying to let you know that, that I am around and I am in a place now where I'm trying to express myself and my love in a different way. So it's pretty okay. amazing that he's coming all the way from the other side just to send you oh, awesome thank you so so much Joy and kelly i really yeah, appreciate thank it you. thanks for sharing your dad with us yeah, and thanks, good luck thanks. with your decision <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> um well it looks like frank could hear us but we couldn't hear him so let's try again for frank let's see okay I'll try to unmute not letting me let's try again Oh, there we go. Frank, can you hear us now and can we hear you? I can hear you. All right, perfect. We can hear you now too. So oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Hey, hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, Kelly. Joy. Hey. So, um, yeah, name and relationship. Do you have somebody in mind who you'd like to hear from? I don't. Okay. <laughs> so, um, do you want us to just see who might want to pop in for you or um, yes. you know, Joy and I also do, you, you know this, but we'll do psychic or intuitive work. So if there's something around um, your life that you want us to look into, we could answer that or look at that for you as well. Yeah. Anything uh, that you have um, or anybody that would come through, uh, that would be great. Uh, or any um, life advice you want to give. I'm going to make a quick confession. It's really hard for me when I can't see people to know if I already know you or not. <laughs> so you, you know, you know, Roz, you're my the wife. Frank that we know. Okay. Yes. I was say, are you the Frank that we know or a different Frank? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we've met Frank and his lovely wife before. I was just checking in on that just to make sure. Um, yes. All right. All right. Okay, Frank, let's just tune into you real quick and see, see what we see. <laughs> So let me just check. Um, okay, Frank, I know that I've had a couple of readings with you in the past, but this lady I don't think I've had before. She feels um, very maternal to me, and I, I don't know whether or not your mom's on the other side, but have you lost mom? No, mom is still alive. Okay, so let me tune in and see then who she is because she feels um, maternal. She feels like she's on mom's side of the family. And um, would you understand, sometimes this will happen, would you understand your, your grandmother, first of all, your mom's mom to be on the other side? Yes. And would you know uh, that she had, or could you validate that she had um, a good a heavier role in helping to raise you or, or helping with you when you were small? Absolutely. Okay. So sometimes that's what we have is we have grandmother who comes in feeling like mom because they actually took on some of the mom roles when you were younger. So um, I feel like with this woman, I have to say that, um, uh, I don't know why she's still telling me, I have great, she has great skin. She's beautiful skin. Um, but she's saying that uh, she actually was a, sort of a grandmother mother to many, many kids. So I feel that there must be lots of cousins, lots of siblings that we need to talk about. Yes, very okay. much so. Yes. Okay. She's very much sort of that um, matriarch of the family, if I, if I might say that, that she, um, she was really looked up to as the figurehead of the family. Does this resonate with you? Yes. Okay. And I feel like with this woman that, um, and I, I, I know that this has come up with some of your other family members, or maybe it's Roz's, now the lines are crossing, but there's this very strong pull towards faith with her. So I feel that this is a woman who's very strongly faith-based. Am I right with this? Absolutely. Okay. Because I know that I have to go to church every Sunday. That if, I was, if I'm your grandmother, I'm going to church every Sunday, and I am going dressed up. So. That's her. <laughs> We do not go in our sweats or our yoga pants because we are <laughs> dressed up for church and we're going to make sure all of our, all of the kids, all the kids in my family 
are also put together very nicely um, for Sunday school. Am I okay with that? That's her. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there were so many baptisms. I feel like I need to talk about this, this church that she went to because you would recall that there is a church not too far from her home, probably within a mile to three miles, that um, where the family, really it's the family's church. I feel like this is somewhere where we had births and we had weddings and we had baptism. Well, you wouldn't have a birth at a church, but you would have a baptism and a wedding. <laughs> You understand that? Yeah, it was uh, within two miles of our home. That is absolutely 100% correct. Okay, all right. Because I feel like there's so many events that take place in this particular parish or this um, sanctuary where um, I know that we baptize all our babies there. And there, there definitely are some weddings. But talk about there being, uh oh, it looks like I went muted and then unmuted. Okay, it looks like I also have to talk about there being at least one or two funerals in this in this same church. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. And was your grandmother's funeral actually? Uh, did it actually take place in this same church? Yes. Okay. Um, so I need to I need to talk about that because she just it, she brings it full circle from you know her bringing these babies to be baptized into the church to her actually having her funeral. In the same in the same sanctuary that's really important to her um, and let's see here she's uh, <laughs> okay all right uh, she is acknowledging also I, I know I, there's a young man that we've brought through before that I feel was a nephew for you is that right um, I'm not sure um, who you're okay uh, we had somebody before who um, who had taken his own life and he had popped into a reading where you you'd come uh, a cousin a cousin yes. thank you a cousin and um would this be a cut would this cousin be related to the same grandmother that i have yes okay because she makes me she acknowledges i have him with me here oh wow he's stepping forward now as well to, to step in and say hello um, oh, okay but it's interesting that she brings him when we're talking about faith um, and and church because her thinking would have been um, sort of that you know taking your own life would lead you on a different path but she's saying but he's here with me so not everything was the way that I thought it was going to be wow. if that makes sense. so joy are you in on his grandmother do you have anything um, can I just check Frank does this grandma have a husband in spirit as well um, that grandpa uh, um, yes, that would be, uh, they weren't married, but I know that uh, the father of some of the kids have passed. Okay. Did she have a, a husband that lived in the home with her, that home that we're talking about that you'd visit and spend time? Was there a adult now, During my lifetime, that is no, but uh, okay. he may have lived before that. Do you know much about him? Because I've got kind of this gruff and grumbly grandpa <laughs> i'm not sure if he's yours or not so no i don't actually okay um and you've not got another grandpa that you'd remember as being a little bit gruff and grumbly no not really okay. <laughs> i, I and didn't know that might not grandpa. be with your grandma but yeah i've got that guy so <laughs> Um, okay, Frank, just a couple of more thing, a couple more things here that I'm getting from your grandmother. Um, I want to touch on your mom and um, on her health currently. Do you, can you confirm whether or not um, your mom's health is, is, uh, has been a little bumpy lately, if I could say that? Um, yes. Okay. That, Do you know the, the um, I just have to say that there's a little bit of pain with walking. So do you know that arthritis has set in a bit? with her i didn't know that okay she, she lives in another state I so i haven't haven't seen her <laughs> in a while it's but. okay i'm just feeling like moving walking around i know she's still on her own two feet i know she's yes. on a wheelchair and she's not on you know a walker or anything but but i i do feel that there is um a there's more pain and it feels that it's associated in the low back so i would check you know the next time you talk with her you could just say hey mom how are you feeling? How's that low back? Um, you know, and just check in that way. So maybe you could be aware of that ahead of time. Um, but it feels that I want to go to my low back. I also want to talk about my knees and a little bit in the hips here. But 
Um, wow. And you might also find that there are, this is a good Christmas present for your mom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, you know, when, when arthritis can set in into the hands, I know that you can lose strength in opening cans and turning, you know, like kind of turning that, that lid off of a pickle jar or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I think that there are things on Amazon you could probably look to help her with that. So, um, oh, wow. okay. yeah, without offending her, but, uh, but those kinds of things I think are becoming harder for her, but your grandmother is just letting me know that she's keeping an eye on her. Okay. Um, and she's, your grandmother would have very much been the kind that says, you know, when, when you get sick that you're drinking lots of chicken soup, chicken broth, that kind of thing. Would you remember that? Yes. Okay. Because she's, she's just, she's telling me your mom needs to drink more chicken broth. So, <laughs> and I'm wondering to her, like, how is that going to help with the arthritis? But oh, right. You never know. <laughs> right. Maybe it's bone broth she wants her to be drinking. But okay. in any case, um, that's, that's what she's doing. She's saying, I'm, I'm aware, even though you can't be with your mom, I'm with her um, in spirit. So if you, if you're worried about her, if you need any help, um, just checking in on her, just know that I, I that your grandmother is with your mom a lot. Um, is, is by her side a lot and will be there as she, um, as she continues to age gracefully. So um, awesome. thank you for sharing your grandmother with us and being open to the, the reading online. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks. It's always good to see you, Frank. Well, Give us a for, Roz. Okay, thank you. For, um, yeah, hi to Roz. Um, definitely <laughs> time for one more. And if you guys could just do us a favor, if we're not working with you, if you could just stay on mute, um, that would help because there's a lot, there can be background noise and it's just helpful to, if we're not working with you to be on mute. Um, okay, so it looks like we've got a, another hand raised from Jay Solano. I'm gonna unmute you now. Are you still with us, Jay Solano? I'm here. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm great. Uh, actually, um, I had a, a session with Kelly before. Okay. I'm from Mexico, Kelly. I don't know um, if you remember. Yes. Yeah, and Elizabeth. Yes, I remember you, absolutely. I didn't, I didn't recognize you from the name Jay Solano, but I know who you are. So it's good to see you. How are you? I've been great. Thank you. Good. You're a friend of, friend of Joaquin, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Well, I know you've heard from him before. So is there somebody else that you're hoping to hear from? Uh, I have an aunt. An aunt. Okay. And what's her name? Uh, Ruby. Ruby. That's a beautiful name. Okay. All right, so just give us a minute here as uh, we shift gears and see if we can connect here with Ruby. Thank you. Sure. Okay, I may be with her, but let me just check. Um, with your Aunt Ruby, do you have a photo of her where she's wearing a floral print dress? Uh, I don't keep like any photo of her like with me. Okay, would you be aware of it? She keeps showing me herself in this. It looks like a black background, but it's got floral print. It's really pretty, but um, would you remember either seeing her in a dress like that or that she would wear something like that? It's okay if it's no. I'm just trying to figure her out. Yeah, yeah, she will wear like that kind of blouses. Okay, and then the other thing with her is, is she just a lover of music? Because she brings this music all around her. So would you remember her being a lover of music? More like um, he was like very happy all the time and like energetic, but. Okay, she does feel like she's got a very young spirit about her. The other thing she brings me is, would you remember her to wear um, red or brightly colored? Yeah, lipstick? yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> she, she wants to be well presented and I know that she's got her hair styled. Yes. Um, and I, I feel like she wore it generally kind of just below the shoulder. Would you remember that? Correct. Yes. I feel like when it's curled, it's just at the shoulder. Um, but I know that she, she likes to be put together and um, very proper when she's leaving the house is what she's saying. Does that make sense? Totally. <laughs> okay. Um, and you would have spent time with her when you were younger, like a small child? Yeah, we moved um, when I was seven. So like the okay. more, most of the time was when I was young. Yep, that's what, that's what she shows me. And would you remember her taking you on outings? Because I feel like it's what she keeps showing me is grabbing you by the hand. You look about five years old and kind of rushing you down a sidewalk somewhere. Yeah, she used to, to take me anywhere with her. Would you remember her mostly wearing heels? This is kind of a funny little... Yes, totally. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, no, she was very fashion. So fast with him in those heels, my goodness. Um, but it feels like you even have a hard time keeping up with her a little bit is how it feels with your little legs. 
Um, okay, let's see, where are you guys going? Um, and she always has a stylish handbag she's showing me. It's, it's like a little, it's not like a big bulky one. It's like a little clutch stylish on the arm handbag. Um, so I don't know if you'd remember that or not, but it feels like she's got you dressed really well when she's taking you out also. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, like um, she very, and, and, and my yeah. mom always like try to, to dress me well. Okay. <laughs> it feels like kind of what she's showing me is if you've, you've got this nice little kind of dress shirt on, but one half's untucked and she's like, you, you got to tuck that in. It's, you know, it's <laughs> They want you to look polished and presentable. Well, yeah. um, I know that's important to them. The other thing is, do you know, did she keep journals? I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Do you know, did she like to read? Because she keeps showing me herself with a book. I don't think so. Maybe the Bible, but Not sure. I, don't, okay. I don't think so. Bible, maybe. Um, okay. Uh, so let's see. With her home, was her home rather simply decorated? It doesn't feel like it's extravagant and over the top. Does that make sense? Yeah, it was like a small department. Okay. Yeah. Pretty well, but normal. Simple and tasteful, but not over the top extravagant. From looking at her, you might think that her house would be more, I don't know, how, how more full of things, but it feels very simple and elegant. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. The other thing is, would you remember her being pretty uh, good in the kitchen? Um. Yes. Actually, yes. Yes. Uh, she was... was Looking at her, you, you might not think that she would be because she's so lovely and put together, but she makes me aware that she still knows recipes and how to make things and no one's going to starve around her. Does that make sense? Yeah, she was a single mother too, so she had a lot of that. <laughs> Always good at making something out of nothing then. Correct. Um, do you get actually time alone with her though? Because I feel like sometimes it's just the two of you. It's not always a lot of other people there. Yeah, when I came to to visit, when I was a little uh, little bit older, uh, we had like our, our time, and we were go for drinks and and have like deep talks. Oh, that's so nice. Is there one occasion where you actually are at a place that has dancing? We were at a wedding. Okay. So, yep. <laughs> so that definitely has dance. Yep. <laughs> Did you actually have the opportunity to have a dance with her? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's what she's bringing me to that memory. Um, and it's just, that's the thing with the music is I know she feels it almost like in her whole self and the way she moves is just, you can tell that she really feels the music. She's a very good dancer, she makes me aware. <laughs> she was. Um, and is this, uh, okay, is this your sister's wedding? Uh, no, a cousin. A cousin, okay. Um, but the, a female cousin? No, a uh, male male cousin. Okay, because I'm like, it's somewhere in there. Um, but this is also quite some time ago. Does that make sense? Yeah, like more than 10 years. Yeah, it feels like quite a while ago. Um, and you had to travel for that wedding? Correct. Okay. Uh, but she doesn't have to travel as far. Does that make sense? No, she lived there. Okay, so she just has a short trip there. Um, okay, let's see. What else does she want to show me? Uh, What's interesting is there's a special closeness between the two of you, even though she has her own children. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, okay. And she's got, she have three kids? No, one. Only one. one. Okay. Are, do you have a sibling? I do. Okay. Just one? No, I have uh, three, actually. Oh, so you have three or you're one of three? Um, I have three. <laughs> you have three. My goodness, there's a lot of you. <laughs> yeah, we are Mexican, so. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Um, Cal, do you want to, I see you. Do you want to, you want to pop in? Well, I just have some questions. Um, so, you know, we're, I'm, when we link in together, we're never really sure if we have your person until we can check the evidence. Um, because a lot of what Joy has been saying makes sense for me, but I've got different parts of, of your aunt here. I have to ask about um, the way that she passed. Can you understand it having to do with her physical body? In other words, she doesn't um, get in a car accident, but that she actually gets sick somehow? Exactly, yes. Okay. Um, because this is what uh, I needed to talk about, is that I feel as if, um, I actually feel as if there was a battle here with what was going on with her internally, with what was going on with her health. And I feel that she did fight to um, try to get better. Can you understand that? 
Yeah, she did for, for a few years. Yeah, that's what it felt like. And then it felt as if there was a time that um, she actually had to have somebody sort of champion her cause for her or um, go to bat for her with the doctors. And it feels like she wants to think, she wants to reach out and thank a female family member here. Um, and so I was curious to know if this was your mom, but did your mom really kind of step up to the plate and help her towards the end of her life when she needed the most aggressive kind of plan of care? Yeah, she was there, but um, my other aunt, um, it, they were like a twin sister, but, <laughs> but no. Not uh, twins, but, but sort of like twins? Exactly, yeah. Okay. They, they spend all the time together and my other aunt take um, care of everything. Okay, so that other aunt, this is where aunt, what Aunt Ruby wants to get across is she wants to reach up to your, both your mom and the one that was like a twin to her because she just says, thank you for giving a voice to my needs and my desires when I didn't have the strength to speak for myself, if I can put it that way, um, because there's very much this rallying around her and saying whatever you need we'll do it for you and we're here to help you and after you go we will take care of everything and um, it just kind of gave her that peace that she needed to be able to focus on herself and her health and her transition rather than trying to kind of fight for the care that she needed because it just feels as if the doctors wanted to take her on one course but really it um it made more sense to go a different direction if, if you can understand that. Okay, yep. Okay, so um, I had that to give to you. I don't know if you have anything else to wrap it up, Joy. I don't, she's bringing me a little bit to your, your siblings though. Is there a little bit of a disconnect with one of your siblings right now compared to the rest of you or like three of you pretty tight and one kind of not? Yeah, actually uh, I have a, a half sister. Okay, oh, a health sister, is that what you said? Yeah. Half? Oh. Like half. Ah. Oh, half sister. Sorry. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, are you just not as close in contact with her as the others as well? Correct. Okay. Um, because what your aunt keeps saying to me as Kelly's talking about her own sisters is that she just, she understands circumstances can be difficult, but she just wants you to keep in mind that blood is blood. That's what she keeps telling me. Um, so I think just an encouragement to I don't, I don't know exactly what that means or why she's disconnected a little bit, but she just keeps saying, you know, blood is blood. And at the end of the day, even, even if you can't necessarily, I guess, be where she is, or it's not always making sense, or she's not coming around is kind of the way she's saying, um, that you, you still, you still love your family, still love your siblings, um, that she's, she's one of you is kind of what she's saying. I can throw in a little last bit for you. Yeah, the um, blood is blood. It's something that she will totally say. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing lady. that Ruby with us. She's a special lady. Yeah. And she's thank you. No, thanks to you. Love to. Is it a son that she has, your cousin? Sorry? Is it a son that she has, your cousin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, the, the, for the wedding, you say? Uh, no. So you said she had just one child. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Is, is it a son or a daughter? A son. Okay, that's what I was feeling um, because she's reaching out to her son and this is your cousin, right? If I'm yeah, getting it all right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> her son is my cousin, yeah. She really wants to send her love to him. So, um, you know, you can't, you don't always have to be the messenger if she's kind of giving you that message for your cousin. But, um, but if he's open to it or if you wanted to, to um, you know, just put it a different way, sometimes we encourage people to say, you know, last night I had a dream about Aunt Ruby and she was telling me to tell you that she loves you and that she's okay. So there are different ways to kind of pass along the message um, outside of saying, I, you know, I was with a medium the other day and she said X, Y, and Z. So, but that's really okay. important to her is to express her love to her son, um, to your cousin. And he's still here with us in the physical realm, right? Right. Okay, good. So, yeah, so if you can get that message through somehow, or if you can't, that's fine too. It's just her expressing it as healing for her as well. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, Kelly, um, just like a final question. Yes. <laughs> um, do you have something um, from Joaquin? Um, you know, as soon as I heard your voice, I felt him join us. Um, 
But what you can do is because we're running out of time, I won't. And he's just such a, fa a fantastic communicator. I love Joaquin in that way. Um, so we don't have enough time to give him like a voice right now, other than the fact that I know that I can feel the love that he's pushing through for you and for Elizabeth. So I just want to send that through um, to both of you. And he is very much supporting um, you all on your on your personal paths right now and very, very encouraging of both of you. So um, he's been here the whole time we had the reading and was very happy to, to have you get a contact from your Aunt Ruby. But yeah, so just know that he's here. He says hello and sends his love. And if you'll pass that on to Elizabeth, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that is about all the time we have. We want to make sure we respect everyone's hour uh, and let you guys off to your own worlds. But um, Cal, tell them how they can find you if they want to. <laughs> question. Yeah, no, I, it's good. Um, we, Joy and I can both uh, be found on our personal website. So mine is SoCalMedium.com. Or you can connect with me through my Facebook page, Kelly Fisher, or that I have a Facebook, SoCal Medium as well. So I'll respond fairly quickly through, through those uh, platforms. And you can get me on my website as well, www.joygiovanni.net. And I am also on Facebook and Instagram, Joy Giovanni Psychic Medium. We would love to connect with you guys. We will be here next week, same time. So anyone who would like to join next week is I think the 29th of October. Mm -hmm. We'll be 12 Pacific again, same link. Uh, we hope to see you all again and have the opportunity to spend some time with you and meet your loved ones in spirit. Yeah, thank you for joining everybody who hopped on. Have a great one. Thank you for your time. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.